Hey, what's up UHS hardware fans? It's me, Louie, here today in front of the UHS headquarters with this 2017 Buick Envision. I'm gonna be using the Autel IM508 as well as a keyless factory aftermarket smart key to program a new key for this vehicle. Should be pretty simple, pretty easy. Usually things are with the Autel IM508. We're gonna find out together. Key point here is that the key for this vehicle originally has five buttons, while this one only has four. It's missing the rear gate button. That shouldn't be much of an issue. We'll find out together. Let's check it out. Come on, guys. First, you're gonna find the OBD input located just underneath the driver dash. After you've connected your OBD to the IM508, swipe to the second menu and select settings, then system settings, then set up your Wi-Fi signal. Return to the main menu once you're connected and then select IMMO. System selection. Accept the authorizations and then select or search for the make of your vehicle. Having chosen GM, next I'm going to choose System selection. Buick. Read and mobilize your password. BCM, Auto, Auto Smart, Password Reading, then confirm that you have Wi-Fi connected. Once your pin is read and saved by the system automatically, go ahead and press OK and return to System Selection menu. Then choose Keyless System. Choose Keyless System, C-A-N, then add Smart Key. Press the start stop button as requested and then place a new smart key into the frontmost cup holder and confirm the earlier read security code. Once confirmed, press OK to begin the 10 minute security hold. For best success, I recommend checking uhs-hardware.com while you wait for this security code process to be done. Uh, in 10 minutes, you can get yourself some really great deals and save on all your business and everything going forward. Go ahead and check out uhs-hardware.com and look at that, we're getting right back to it right now. Continue by pressing the start stop button as requested to finish the learning sequence. Once the key is learned by the system, you can actually see the key number increase on the dash. That's it. As soon as we're done here, we're just going to follow the prompts to exit the system. Choose no to exit the system and test your key, or push yes to continue to add more keys if desired. Follow the on-screen prompts once again to push the start stop button until the system is fully exited. Then you can begin testing your brand new key.
Okay, now we're gonna push every single button on the remote, make sure it works, and then we're done. Okay, so as usual, the IM5 weight has outdone itself. What an easy programming that was. If you are interested in the IM5 weight or any of these keyless factory remotes, go ahead and check them out at uhs-hardware.com. I've also got links below in the description to make it super easy to find. If you also want to follow along in any of our social media accounts, we have links below at the bottom of the description as well for that. You can check that out and follow along with everything we've got going on. If you're not already following along with our channel here, if you haven't liked this video or clicked the bell icon, now's the time. Go down below and do all those things. Make sure you're following along and you know when every video comes out. Thanks for checking out the videos, guys. Once again, we appreciate you. If you have any thoughts, comments, or desires, go ahead and drop them below in the comment section. We want to hear from you. And once again, it's great to see you guys. I'm Louie. Have a good one. We'll catch you out there.